AVM stands for arteriovenous malformation, which is a disorder that might form during fetal development. It is an abnormal tangle of blood vessels that connects arteries and veins directly which are not supposed to. Arteries are designed to carry oxygen-rich, high pressure and high flow of blood from heart to brain. And veins are responsible to carry oxygen-depleted blood, low pressure and slow flow back to lungs and heart. When AVM exists this vital process disrupts. They don't have the normal network of tiny vessels called capillaries, that connect arteries and veins. Hence, high pressure blood flows, directly from arteries to veins is short circuit, which may rupture and cause a bleed at weak spot. An AVM can cause anywhere in your body but occurs often in brain and spine. But not to worry. AVM is rare and affects less than 1% of population. People with brain AVM doesn't experience any symptoms or signs unless the AVM ruptures, resulting in bleeding in the brain. Although some people with AVM may experience signs and symptoms other than hemorrhage. To name a few. Seizures. Headache or pain in one area of the head. Muscle weakness or numbness in one part of the body. As discussed, AVM is a tangle of blood vessel and has a risk of bleeding in the brain. Hence the goal of treating the AVM is to reduce the risk of bleeding and hopefully getting rid of that AVM. There are multiple ways to treat a brain AVM and one of the most advanced technique to treat brain AVM is by embolization. Embolization is an uh, advanced procedure where we don't have to cut open the skull or handle the brain. Instead, we get inside the through the groin puncture and we get inside the femoral artery and, and then we get inside the AVM nidus and we try to inject liquid embolic into the nidus. There are many types of liquid embolics like onyx, glue, squid, or fill. They can be injected into the nidus and once this embolic agent gets hardened, they exclude the AVM from the circulation. And Seven Hills Institute of Neurosciences, SHINE, offer best possible endovascular methods to treat brain AVM.